Safety is incredibly important. It's important to protect personal information. You're anyway doing that currently. Why? Because you've got consent, don't you? To run credit checks, to use the person's information. The majority of situations you would actually get consent to load a person onto a credit bureau as well. Even though it's not a requirement to get consent with, for that because it's a legal requirement for us, Poppy deals with a lot of things. It deals with how to capture information, what you can do with information, how you can't provide that information to third parties. If I get another call from a bank on a Sunday morning after I don't bank with them, I'm probably going to go absolutely crazy. But that's the type of situation that it's supposed to protect. My information from getting into the hands of people. And let's face it, people are very shrewd at the moment. Identity theft is crazy. Last year, November, December, TPN did 25, sorry, 35 credit checks on deceased people in South Africa. It's not like we had this arising of the dead and then people wanted to rent out properties. That's not what happened. People took their deceased cousins and brothers' IDs and tried to rent property out of them. I want you to be on the lookout for that. Greg is going to talk to you a lot about know your client and know your people that you're actually busy dealing with in terms of FICA. But Poppy, very, very similar provisions. Very similar provisions in accordance with the National Credit Act regarding consent and regarding that legal requirement to actually go and capture information. I just want to do one thing with you during Poppy. Who's got a very nice consent clause in their contract? You can tell me if it's a great consent clause. I would like for you to go and have a look at it, please. Because I want your consent clauses to be very wide enough to be able to run credit checks when you'd like to run credit checks. So say now on specifically on renewal, we get this question a lot. Can we run credit checks on renewal? If your consent clause says you may. So I'm going to read out ours for you, just show you exactly how ours fits together and what you can do with that information. But please go and have a look at your consent clauses in your contract. What TPN also does is we've got consent clauses not only in your lease agreement, but also in your application forms. So we're sort of like doubling up on the information. But it's nice and important for if you're not doing applications, if you're just doing lease agreements. So let's go and have a look at this. Credit information. This is in terms of the residential, but it's very similar to the commercial contract. The tenant consents to and authorizes the landlord, the agent, and or rent master, another product, to contract, request, and obtain information at any time from any credit provider or registered credit bureau in order to assess the behavior, profile, payment patterns, indebtedness, whereabouts, and creditworthiness of the tenant. And then it also says provide information about the behavior, profile, payment patterns, indebtedness, whereabouts, and creditworthiness of the tenant to any registered credit bureau. So that's like providing information. So please go and have a look at your consent clauses or your consent verification clauses in your application forms as well as your lease. If you've got an issue with that or if you've got a bit of a problem, just please contact us and we'll assist you with that as well. How Poppy is going to work is they're going to give us a date specifically that says in a gazette, oh, it's now gazetted for this specific date, and it will only commence many of those provisions 12 months thereafter. But we're uncertain when it's actually coming, going to come in full force and effect. So please keep your oorikis gespits for that.